Hey everybody, it's Scott Steen coming to you from the Manny Ramirez Studio, deep in the bowels of the Winners and Winners Sports and Entertainment Complex, to bring you today's Deep Three. As always, if you would be so kind to give us the love, hit that rectangle to subscribe if you haven't done it already, and give us the thumbs up if you're digging what we're playing today. And uh, yeah, let us know what you're doing today. Let us know if you're tailing us. Let us know if you're fading us. Let us know what you've come up with on your own, man. We've had some good golf plays. Had an excellent tennis play yesterday. And, of course, we got baseball happening. So uh, let us know what you're on. Any NBA, any WNBA guys out there? Anybody anybody bet the WNBA? Let's uh, give us some of the picks and those. I know there's a lot of guys at Winners and Winners that uh, make a fair amount of money betting the old WNBA. So if there's anybody uh, playing the ladies today, uh, let me know. Let me know what you're on, all right? And, of course... Uh, with our new partner, pointsbet.com. Let me know if you want us to do a, suit, a certain kind of parlay or a certain kind of a, a, a proposition bet. If you guys have some some prop cooked up that you'd like to see executed, uh, let us know what it is. We'll uh, uh, If we dig on it, we'll throw it over to the guys over there at PointsBet, and you'll have your very own proposition bet with your name prominently displayed. What could be cooler than that? They'll set the odds and put the bet on their site. So, uh, yeah, for all you, uh, and, for, and for all you New Jersey people, uh, you don't have to be from New Jersey to submit a bet, but you have to be from New Jersey to play it. That's the kicker. Um, either uh, from New Jersey or actually in the state of New Jersey um, to get down on points bet as they are just in New Jersey. But they are expanding. One of the fastest growing um, uh, betting sites around, and they're soon to be in part partnering up in Iowa. I just read that today. So congratulations to guys at points bet. You guys are killing it. It's a great site. Check it out. All right. And, of course, lastly, lastly but not leastly, uh, don't forget to check out our websites, winnersandwinners.com, statsalt.com for all the stuff there. And, uh, yeah, let's uh, let's take a look at how we did yesterday. We had, uh, uh, we did play, speaking of points, but we played uh, one of my one of my favorite pops, props that I've played in a while. Uh, I thought this was an easy cash, so I hopefully you guys uh, had access to it. If not a points bet, it's somewhere else. I did see it at a couple of different other sites. Um, it was the Toronto-Milwaukee game. Uh, nobody leads wire to wire. There would be at least one uh, lead change, and I thought that was a decent price. We just had to lay uh, five to four on that. We laid minus one twenty-five, and that cashed. It looked uh, it looked a little sketchy for the first quarter because Milwaukee jumped out to a lead, and then they just expanded that lead. It looked like it was going to be a Milwaukee kind of night, but it was not. And uh, many lead changes after that. So that was a an easy cash. And uh, then we also had. The uh, Minnesota Twins and the LA Angels. Uh, about the only run, is, uh, only inning they didn't score runs in was the first, and it's a good thing because that's where we had our money. So we had uh, no first inning run in the Minnesota Twins and the LA Angels, and we had the New York Yankees on the money line. And what a game! We just pissed that one away uh, with supposedly uh, they keep telling us it's the best bullpen in baseball. Uh, they had a five to one lead late in the game, couldn't hold it as the Yankees. Uh, ended up taking a 6-5 uh, victory, including having the bases loaded in the ninth where they could have got a base hit and uh, still covered the run line for us. But no, because they're the fucking Yankees, they don't do that. So, yay, thanks. Uh, yet yet a more, another reason to hate the Yankees. Thanks very much, guys. Um, and then on the premium side, uh, we went 1-2. and two. We, had a, we split on our um, one-unit plays as we had the... Uh, uh, Chicago Cubs and John Lester absolutely just got lit up, guys. We may have to make, face the facts that John Lester uh, is, at least for right now, uh, has lost it just a little bit. And then we also had the Cleveland-Tampa Bay under, and that was another no-sweat cash for us as we had under 9.5, and that one ended at 9. All right. And and then the, uh, the three-unit play that we had was the Milwaukee Bucks minus the seven points. In spite of having a lead bigger than seven points many times throughout the game, the Bucks simply could not shake this stupid Toronto team. Um, I should say pesky Toronto team uh, because Toronto looked very good. They they did what they had to do. They played dirty, gritty basketball against Milwaukee. Uh, Milwaukee punched them in the mouth, and they punched right back there on in hostile territory. Hats off to Toronto. I just call them stupid because uh, they beat us, and uh, we had we had Milwaukee. Minus the spread, and uh, Toronto, as you know, one outright. So, uh, one and two night on the premium side, we go down three units. Not the uh, not the day we were looking for over there, but we, uh, of course, are looking to rebound today. Speaking of which, let's get started with our picks. 
as we first look in uh, interleague play as the San Diego Padres taking on the Toronto Blue Jays up there in the land of Rush and Poutine. Um, San Diego sends Lucchese to the mound, and Toronto counters with Thornton. I'm looking again at no first inning runs in this one. Um, you know, Lucchese for the San Diego Padres, uh, he has given up exactly no runs in the first inning in any of his nine starts. Zero times he started, I mean, nine times he started, zero times has the other team broken through and scored in the first inning. Meanwhile, Thornton has given up first inning runs in just 30% or three of 10 of his starts. You know, and we talked about this yesterday with the Twins. Uh, they're, the, they're the number one team in the uh, major leagues at defending against first inning runs. You know who number two is? It is the San Diego Padres. They uh, give up first inning runs in just 20% of their contest. Uh, part of that has to do with Lucchese's per perfect record, of course. On the offensive side, uh, both teams are kind of bottom to middle of the pack. They both score uh, in the first inning less than 30% of the time. And like I said, that's the same rate that Thornton allows them. I like the no first inning run right here in the uh, San Diego-Toronto game. And moving on, taking a look at the red hot Miami Marlins versus the Washington Nationals. Uh, Miami sends Pablo Lopez to the mound and Washington will counter with Kyle McGowan. Uh here we go. Let's, let's, let's start with the description. One of these teams has lost five straight and eight of their last 11, and they start a pitcher with a 5.98 lifetime ERA, making just his second start of his career. That team is a minus 138 favorite. Um, that's the Washington Nationals. The Marlins, on the other hand, they have won six straight. They swept the Mets and the Tigers and are playing, dare I say it, pretty good baseball right now. Uh, Pablo Lopez has a scary ERA, 5.08. However, that is hugely, hugely skewed by a 10-run, three-inning game earlier this season where he pretty much had to wear that one. Uh, you take away that game, his ERA for the other eight starts is 3.40. Not a bad season at all, and I think a lot more indicative of how good of a pitcher Pablo Lopez actually is. Uh, he's given up two or less in four of his last six starts, and over those four starts, he has uh, given up just 11 hits in 24 and a third innings. I like Miami once again here, guys. Washington is not playing good baseball right now. They are uh, struggling, struggling badly, especially in the, the pitching department. Miami is not a great offensive team, but I think uh, Washington is the great equalizer there. I think they do just enough to get it done against Kyle McGowan. Pablo Lopez does his thing. And I think that's a pretty good play right there on Miami, plus 129. Hey, speaking of dogs, arrr, you guys ready to howl again? Let's do it. Let's ride those White Sox, shall we? Uh, White Sox are going up against Minnesota today. White Sox plus 204 in this game. Uh, Renato Lopez gets the call for the Sox against Juan Barrios, uh, Barrios for the Minnesota Twins. Uh, yeah, we're going to take another flyer on the Sox, guys. Here's the deal. Uh, the Barrios... He's a high-quality pitcher, but he hasn't been superb this season. And he's been especially bad in his last two, trending very badly. He's gotten torched for 20 hits and nine runs in his last 10 and a third innings, covering those two starts. Uh, Lopez had a rough go to begin the season, uh, struggled in his first three starts, but he's recorded quality starts in six of his last seven games with an ERA of 2.95 over that seven-game stretch. Yeah, the Twins have been good all season, and they have won eight of their last nine. Guess what? That's why we're getting better than two to one on our money. Uh, we're going to take a flyer right here. I like the White Sox in this spot. I think they can get to Bur I think they can get to Barrios, and uh, I think Lopez can do his thing. And uh, we'll see if we can watch the White Sox hang on for another victory and uh, catch that ticket at plus two oh four. And while we're getting that positive value, let's get down on the Miami Marlins plus one twenty nine. And, of course, in the San Diego-Toronto game, we say no first inning runs. And at the end of those three games, you guys can join me. We'll pick up our winning tickets, and we will head back to the window. All right, guys, let's uh, take a quick look here at uh, the shout-outs. Before we do that, you know the drill. This is the part where I pr plug my premium service. Um, very, very proud of what we've accomplished over there on the premium side, guys. Um, we've got a, a lot of subscribers, a lot of happy subscribers. Um, not only, not only are we doing well with our picks, but we're also, uh, the people, what the people really like is I send daily updates in the afternoon. I let them know how the money's coming in on our particular games. 
let them kind of know how they should size their bets, and uh, also take a look at how uh, the games are being played. And I will usually add a pick or two um, during the afternoon. So uh, a lot of real hands-on stuff that I insist on doing that I, I, I like doing the premium service. I really enjoy it. And I kind of set it up the way uh, as a better I would want a premium service. Okay, So if you're interested in that, check out the link right there and uh, be happy to have you aboard. All right. So with that being said, let's take a look at the shout-outs today. Uh, Ninja. Ninja had uh, said he was going to play the Bucks, or maybe a, maybe a maybe it might be a chicken. He had, the way I read, it, he said maybe a chicken on the under on the money line. I thought that meant he was going to bet an actual chicken, but then I figured it out that he may chicken out and play the money line. Either way, uh, the Bucks shat the bed for us, Ninja. Not good, not good at all. Ah, uh, did a little better on his dog of the day. He had the New York Mets, and they took care of business. Also had the San Francisco Giants, and uh, I got to give a special shout out to Ninja on that one. That was a brutal beat. They had a four-two lead late in the game. Uh, and pissed it away. It lost it in, I think, 13 innings. Not, not good for the Giants at all, brother. You had it. You had it right. Uh, Rico Ramos. He had the Twins on the money line. They did their thing. Uh, he also joined us in getting his heart broken on the New York Yankees money line or run line, and he had Chicago on the money line. He had those three teams. He had three, uh, three team around that one. But he also had a separate. So I have to know uh, if he broke even. Basically, I don't know which Chicago team he had. I don't know if he had the Sox because they won. Or if he had the Cubs, because they did not. Uh, so Rico, let me know um, on, t- on today's in the day's comments if you uh, what you had on if you see this one. All right, uh, the astute Ardvark. Um, he had uh, John Rom over Shoffley in round one of the golf tournament. Uh, laid one twenty on that, and Rom took care of business. Uh, that was the battle of uh, that was the battle right there of uh, of uh, of two not good guys. I think I think Rom shot uh, six over. And uh, Shoffley beat the shit out of him, and he uh, actually beat, shot five over. So a couple of real nice performances there. Uh, i got to give a shout-out to Aardvark because he's got uh, Casey over Fanu and uh, Oster, Osterhausen, Osterhausen uh, over Fanu as well. And uh, he might be in trouble because I saw Fanu uh, shot six under today to lead the tournament. So uh, for your sake, uh, my friend, I hope the uh, hope, uh, hope uh, Fanu gets a little bit worse as the tournament goes on for you. Um, against the grain, uh, he had the Twins. He said he does not trust Matt Harvey. Nobody trusts Matt Harvey. I bet his wife doesn't even trust him. If she's like standing on one side of the kitchen, he's on the other, and she's like, "Hey, uh, toss me the salt," and she's like, "Oh, you know what? You know what? Never mind. Never mind. Just just walk it over to me." Nobody trusts Matt Harvey, and with good reason, he got shelled today by those Minnesota Twins. Nice job against the grain. Uh, Patrick McGrath. He had the Braves on the money line. Uh, see, for every for every for every unhappy player, there's a happy player. Uh, so for uh, for everybody on the uh, for the for the dog pick there, Rico. Uh, I mean, uh, for for the dog pick, uh, Ninja. There's a happy Pat McGrath who had Atlanta on the money line. He also had the Atlanta San Francisco over, and he had the Chicago White Sox and the Houston under. Also had the Miami Detroit over, and uh, so he got three out of four on that one. Not a bad job at all today, Patrick. Seventy-five uh, percent. We'll take that every single day. Uh, C Dub. He believed his heart, man. He believed his he believed his handicapping abilities. Uh, I heard a lot of chatter that tried to scare him off of uh, betting a Bolivar in the Bolivia Liga Profesional, uh, but stick he stuck with his guns, uh, and he got a nice payday on that as a Bolivar played played plus one ninety six as they took care of business over the Sport Boys. He also had over three, and uh, Bolivar ended up winning two to one. So that one was a push, I assume, unless he had three way action on that. Uh, then it's a loser. But even at a split, uh, still a nice job there. And he also had uh, a, a push on uh, Stuttgart. Again, I don't know whether he had a two-way or three-way on that one. So uh, Stuttgart in the uh, Bundesliga uh, either uh, pushed for him or that was a lost three-way. Uh, Stack left. He had, uh, yeah, he was he was kind of thinking, I, I kind of was, like, I like this play as well. We played Matt Boyd a lot this year, Stack. And uh yeah, he just didn't. He didn't get it done today against Miami. Um, had the uh, the Yanks uh, team total over five and a half, and uh, they did take care of business there, six to five, brother. So that's a uh, that's a decent split. Uh, the Legion of Picks had uh, Arena uh, Sabalenka in the uh, to take care of business in the tennis, and she did. He also had uh, Minnesota Twins money line. So nice job, Legion of Picks, and DJ Hayes. Uh, DJ, that's two for two right there, brother. He had the Chicago Houston under. And he had the Milwaukee Bucks in the first quarter. Hey, I remember that first quarter. That's when they actually looked like a team that wanted to win that game. Uh, they were up 10 after one. Nice job there, DJ Hayes. All right, guys. 
very nicely done. You know, I'm going to start, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to try, when I think about it, I'm going to try to do the, uh, I'm going to try to do the capper of the day. And, uh, I, I think we're going to have to go, um, yeah, I think we're, I think we're going to have to go with, uh, with Patrick McGrath on this one. He, uh, he had the Atlanta money line, the Atlanta, San Francisco over, and he had this, the White Sox and the Houston under, uh, missed only on the Miami Detroit over, uh, three and one nice job. I'm going to give it to him over DJ Hayes just because he stepped out more and took more picks, although they won. Uh, both of them were plus two, and DJ Hayes had a perfect day, so we're going to give you an honorable mention there, senior. Um, nice job, guys. So make sure you check back in tomorrow. See if you are the capper of the day. And until then, you guys uh, have a good day. Good luck to everybody. Hey, man, it's Friday. Let's have some fun. Get ready for the weekend. Let's get some wins under our belt and uh, fire it up right. All right? You guys take care, and I'll see you tomorrow. Later.